All right, guys, welcome back to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. My wife purchased me a new laptop because mine, the one I was using, which was a Lenovo ThinkPad, was just giving me all kinds of issues. Uh, it just wouldn't run shortcut or video edit anything bigger than 1080p, 30 frames per second. If I jumped to 60 frames per second, it would just lock up. So I needed a, I needed something that I could edit videos with, uh, but I couldn't afford a gaming laptop. And what we ended up getting was this HP model number 15 DA0053WM. It is a notebook and it is a kind of a mid-range laptop. So when we come back, what do you say we dig into this and find out what's in it, uh, how it works and, and all that. And as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. Alright, uh, as I said, this is the uh, HP, they call it HP Laptop PC. <laughs> That's what they call it. I had to dig deep uh, to get the actual model number on this. And believe it or not, it was on the box. Uh, even though I looked several times, I kept overlooking it. Uh, but if you look right here in this corner, right there, it actually gives you the model number of this device. Uh, again, and that is the 15-DA0053WM. I'm guessing the WM means Walmart. <laughs> My wife decided to go ahead and get me this, and I just want to thank her for it. Uh, I've been wanting to do a review on it for a long time, but I wanted to run the hell out of it before I just jumped in and gave you guys my opinion. This is not an unboxing. This is my opinion of this laptop after about a month and a half of using it really, really hard. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the specs on it. I'm going to let you guys see it again. We'll put the box out of the way for now. This is, again, the HP Notebook HP 15-DA0053WM. It is running Windows 10 Home. The processor in it is an Intel Core i5-8250U. It is an 8th gen processor. It runs at 1.6 gigahertz at its base frequency, and it can scale all the way up to 3.4 gigahertz with Intel Turbo Boost. Guys, don't ask me what that is. I tried to do some research on that, and to me, it's just a bunch of words. Basically, a kernel setting, if, if you ask me. That would be me trying to define that. Um, it does have four cores uh, and eight threads, the processor, and that is what you need for when you're doing video editing, is you need multiple cores and you need multiple threads. Uh, my old system was a dual core processor with no threads. It has four gigabytes of DDR4-2400 RAM, and that this is upgradable uh, to 32 gigabytes as far as I'm aware of. I know it will at least go to 32 gigabytes if you want to do that. And I am going to upgrade this, and when I do, I'll make a video on it. It is very, very simple. I'm going to show you that if you flip this laptop over, you basically have uh, one, two, three, four screws that you have to remove, and then you have to take something like a very small screwdriver and pry up on these little rubber feet, okay? These rubber feet keep the laptop from slipping around on a surface. You pry this up carefully and peel these off, okay, the, both of these. And there are screws, I think four each, underneath there. Once you take all them screws out from underneath here and on the back, uh, your DVD drive will remove out of the side. And then what you do, <laughs> carefully, let me put this back in the frame. You flip it back over and you flip up the lid. What I understand is you have to get in between here, between this little chrome and this black part that the keyboard's attached to, and you just pry up on that, and that'll snap loose the whole way around. Once that, snap, once that snaps loose, you, you pull that up, and right there's your RAM. This does, have, this does come with two slots, uh, and it only right now it only has one slot populated with a 4-gig stick, so I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. Um, when I do upgrade to RAM or any other upgrades that I might do to this, I might put an SSD in it or something like that. If I do, I will video it. Along with the 4 gigs of RAM, it has what they call Intel Optane RAM. Uh, I'm not completely sure how that works. I don't profess to know everything about this. 
but I did try to read up on it and it again I didn't really get any solid answers on that so if any of you know for sure what the Intel Optane RAM is please feel free to post it has 16 gigabytes of it whatever that means uh, the hard drive in it it does have a one terabyte hard drive and I do mean the old spin type hard drive uh, and another thing I was disappointed with is it's only 5200 RPM it's not like uh, what I have on my PC, which is a 70, I think it's a 7400 RPM or 7200 RPM. Uh, but it, it's a it's a SATA drive, SATA drive, meaning it takes the old type SATA cables and stuff like that. So far, guys, I am very impressed with it. Uh, other drives on it. It has a DVD uh, drive on it, 64X. Uh, R plus RW basically means it reads and writes. So yes, I can burn uh, both CDs and DVDs on this if I so choose to do that. Ergos, they're okay. It feels good. It's thin enough. I'll give it that. Uh, I don't really like the super smooth texture on it, although it is easy to keep clean. Uh, it doesn't get stains on it. It's not like it's hard to you know clean anything off of it. Uh, I like the fact again that it has these skid plates on the bottom to uh, to keep the laptop from sliding around on any surfaces uh, the speakers are fairly loud on it I do like that it does have uh, dual stereo speakers on it and it has I think enough ports in it for me for now uh, if I want any more uh, I'll upgrade them and I'm gonna get into the ports uh, next I'm gonna go ahead and power it up and that's the power button so on this side of the laptop it has starts out with your power management cable right here and it is a really weird design <laughs> as you guys can see right next to that you have your uh, network interface which is uh, an integrated 10 slash 100 slash 1000 uh, GB uh, ELAN system right here and that's where that goes it has two USB type 3.1 first gen USB drive or ports right here. It has a full size HDMI out right here, and I hooked it up to one of my televisions and it works fine. Uh, it basically turns that television into a second display. Then it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone slash microphone jack uh, that you can use here. And I've tried both the headphones and uh, my desktop microphone in here. It works great. I've tried my USB microphone, that works great on here as well. Now, on the opposite side, it has the DVD drive here, if I can get it. This is, this is one thing I didn't like about it. You have to hit that button just right uh, for that to work. Uh, but when you do, it pops right out. You put your DVD in, pop it in, and it has one USB Type 3.0 port right here, and I'm using a mouse transmitter right there. That's what that is. That does not come with it. And then, all the way down here for the last uh, external drive, it has a... SD card reader which you just put the SD card in and push it in the whole way and it will read it so those are the drives on it now the system again is Windows 10 home it does not come with home premium or uh, you know anything like that but it does what it needs for me it was disappointing it did it does not come with any USB type C drives on it or ports anywhere with the way systems are today, USB Type-C being one of the biggest types of data transfer and charging transfers that, that there are now, uh, you would have thought they would have come with that, but they didn't. The touchpad on it uh, does have multi-gesture support, which means two fingers. You can scroll, which is nice. Now you don't have to go over and hit that little button on the side. But then again, this is also a touch screen, so I could just reach up and scroll it. So, I, I like that feature. It also comes with dedicated buttons like a mouse has. You have your, you have your right click and your left click, uh, which is another nice feature. One of the things I didn't like about it, uh, you guys may barely be able to see the outlines of big stickers they had on here. One was the Energy, Dar Energy Star sticker and the other one was just some advertisement for HP. Okay, it has Wi-Fi. Uh, the Wi-Fi is, of course, uh, an Intel 802.11. Uh, BGN AC and it has Bluetooth uh, 4.2 so we are covered completely with our wireless uh, systems you know both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth it does not have NFC in it uh, I don't see anywhere where I would be you know needing NFC so that doesn't bother me at all all right the dimensions on this are 37.6 centimeters by 24.6 centimeters by 2.25 centimeters high 
and I didn't take the time to convert that over guys I'm terrible with that um, everybody's using centimeters anyway so you know if the if this is diagonally 15.6 inches you know it's gonna be about 16 inches this way and about 12 inches that way and it's about uh, three quarters of an inch deep <laughs> and I'm saying about guys so you know hey uh, weight is 2.08 kilograms 2.08 kilograms equal 4.586 pounds there you go it's 4.586 pounds <laughs> All right, the uh, power supply type is a 45 watt AC power adapter. Nothing fancy with that. It does not have a built-in power supply. It's got a brick that sits off on the outside. Uh, the battery type is a three cell 41 WH lithium ion battery. Again, has dual speakers on it and the color is graphite silver. Now, recommended upgrades for this. Basically, about the only thing I can see that you can do, you can put a bigger uh, you know, you can put a bigger hard drive in it, you know, a bigger SATA if you want, uh, or you can replace the SATA that's in it with, a, you know, with a, uh, an SSD if you want. You could also pull out the DVD drive and replace that with an SSD. So you could run with your hard drive and an SSD if you wanted, or, you know, run two SSDs, do it, you know, whatever you want. Uh, you can also add RAM to this. Again, this only has four gigs of RAM. Um, I'm planning on putting 16, uh, you know, a 16 stick to go with the uh, 4 gigs on there, which is going to give me 20 gigs of RAM. Uh, I really would love to just, you know, get it all over with and throw 32 gigs, you know, two 16s if I could. That's upgradable. That's about all I can think of. You can't add a video card to it. You can't add uh, any of the really cool features that are out today. Again, if I do any of that, I will definitely record it for you guys so that you can see. Uh, I am running Shotcut on this. Shotcut runs like a dream. No lag. I, I can watch 4K videos on this now. Uh, the, the display on it is really nice. Uh, it is, as a matter of fact, I have the display here. I have uh, the display is a 15.6 inch HD SVA uh, WLED. So it's an LED backlit display. Uh, it is a touchscreen and it is 1366 by 768. Uh, sound is decent. Um, I've had better. I've seen better uh, or heard better sound off of more expensive systems like Mac. Uh, they're uh, the MacBook Pro and that, that really sound nice. This is pretty loud. Uh, let me give you an example and this is going to be at 100%. So you guys can see now the microphone obviously uh, is we're looking at about two and a half feet away from the device. I'm gonna go ahead and take that down to, I usually run around 60%, that's a 63, so that gives you an idea of the speakers. And it's not bad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a video clip up and let you guys see what it looks like on the screen next. Okay, this will give you an idea of what it looks like. Volume is 63%, and I'm gonna go full screen. Hey guys, welcome back to Hayes Tech and Ron Reviews. Um, sorry to put out a video like this, uh, but I So there you go, out. guys. I mean, that's in um, that's in 1080p. I'll show you 4K. Here's a 4K video. Hey guys, welcome back to Hayes Tech and Ron Reviews. Um, sorry to put out a video like this, uh, but I Hey guys, welcome back to Hayes Tech and Ron Reviews. Um, sorry to put out a video like this, uh, but I I'll show you 4K. Here's a 4K video. I'll go full screen. That is in 4K and uh full screen so you guys can see what it looks like what it sounds like uh, I'm pretty impressed with it is it the best laptop in the world no but at 569 which is what it is 569 dollars it's a pretty nice computer it does everything I need it to do uh, now obviously it's got its downfalls it feels cheap I don't like the keyboard the keyboards not as nice I'm used to the keyboard that I had on my ThinkPad which in my opinion is one of the best key keypads out besides uh, some of the Apple laptops I've tried. It just feels cheap. Uh, when you push on it, the whole thing flexes. It flexes a lot. Eh, come over to this side. Uh, basically, when you push on it, the whole top of it just flexes. Uh, I don't like that. Other than that though, guys, it's nice. The trackpad works great. Um, again, I like the sound. I like the looks. I like the weight of it. It's not super light, but it's not over the top. Okay, with everything I went over, could I recommend this laptop? Yes, and that is under certain conditions with certain caveats. Uh, I need to get out of the way that this is not a gaming laptop. 
Um, it's not even a laptop that was built for editing. Uh, it just so happens that with the multi-core, multi-thread processor in it, it will edit some videos. Yes, I did manage to install DaVinci Resolve on it, but even when I did, I tried to use some of the coloring functions on it. It just doesn't have the processing power to deal with uh, those type of adjustments. If I'm doing basic adjustments and editing, yes, DaVinci would probably work but no better than Shotcut, and I know Shotcut very well, so, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with Shotcut. So yes, it will run DaVinci, but it even tells you once it starts up that not all functions may work properly because I don't have a video card that supports it. Uh, the inbuilt video graphics is just an Intel UHD graphics uh, 620. And it's, you know, so it's a 620 <laughs> integrated graphics board or graphics card. So you can't even change that out. I mean, of course, a lot of motherboards have integrated graphics on it because not everybody likes to run a video card. So, you know, most boards are going to have that. Uh, this is a slightly better one. And I think it has like four gigabytes of RAM dedicated just to that. So if you just want a laptop that is an all around laptop uh, that'll run most games not all minecraft runs on it i know for a fact that does you know so that's the kind of gaming this can do this is a what i would categorize as an office laptop a work laptop uh so to speak but it just so happens to run shotcut pretty damn well <laughs> so it does great for me so guys that is my review on the uh hp 15-da0053 wm notebook it is a notebook so uh the video has gone long enough i'm gonna have to do a lot of editing this is my thoughts on this uh it's not a really in-depth review you know going over every little detail on it um but i you guys don't want to see that you just want to know if this is worth getting or not and i say yes uh, again with those caveats that i mentioned if you liked the video give it a thumbs up if i helped you in any way give it a thumbs up uh, guys if you're not subscribed you know uh, think about subscribing hit that uh, little subscribe button down there don't forget to hit the notification bell next to that uh, that way you get my videos as soon as i release them i want to thank all of my subscribers you guys are the greatest and i will see you on the next video